Hey guys, it's Meso. There's been a lot of talk on the forums lately of how to use Applied Force and Apply Ink Force. So I'm going to make a detailed video tutorial and hopefully you guys, it'll give, give you guys a better, um, better idea of how to use it and you can use it to your advantage. So before I begin though, I'm going to make the expression gate a Phoenix Metal Plate by right clicking on the prop and hit copy to clipboard. Open up the console and type wire underscore expression to underscore model and then paste that props um, path and hit enter. And then uh, I'm going to spawn the expression. But before I spawn it, I'm going to make sure that it's all normal as the size because if you put it on mini or nano, you're going to have an error. So put it on normal and then spawn the expression. And also I'm going to make the gravity of the plate, I'm going to make it um, so it floats. So under physical properties, make sure gravity toggle is unchecked and then click on the plate and that way it defies the laws of gravity. <laughs> Makes it uh, weightless. So I'm going to use apply angular force first and to do that, apply angular force takes an angle. If you don't know what that is, a gyroscope does the same thing. When you spawn a gyroscope, it outputs the pitch yaw and roll of this gyroscope, this prop. Uh, when I tilt it toward me, it says 0, 0, and then 44.9, which is roughly 45. So it's at a 45 degree angle in the roll direction. Put it away from me, and now it's at a negative 45 in the roll direction. All right? So basically positive and negative. And then obviously when it's straight up, it's 0, 0, 0. At 0 pitch, 0 yaw, and 0 roll. I'm going to do the same thing to this plate. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Express 2 editor and get rid of this stuff that I don't need. I'm not going to use inputs or name in this, just outputs and persist. Alright, um, uh, first thing you're going to need when making a new expression is an interval, or for this rather. So I'm going to put run on tick 1. And then you can also use interval 10. Uh, it's up to you which one you want to use. Run on ticks better, but it doesn't work for all servers because some servers aren't up to date with the new wire mod. So run on tick one is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to define the plate as the entity. Um, all the, by the way, all these I'm using that are this color and have parentheses, they're all called functions. And you can look at what the functions mean on this website right here. I posted a web or posted it on the video to show you guys where you can find this information. Of how to, or how to use these functions if you don't have a get a better understanding. Anyway, so we got I define the plate as an entity, which basically means the plate is going to be the expression, the plate variable. All right, and then I want to output the angles of the plate, the pitch yaw and roll. So I do um, I'm going to call it gyro equals uh, plate oops, angle angles. Sorry, that's the uh, function to output the angles of the entity plate, right? because I define plate as the entity. And since I named it gyro, I'm going to output it to show you guys uh, what it does. And since it's an angle, I have to defy it as an angle. All right, so validation is successful. i click on the expression. And then I'm going to debug it so you guys can see what it does. All right, so right now the plate's at a 45 degree angle, so it's outputting 0, 0, 45. Put it or the other way and it says 0, 0, negative 45. Now I'm going to use these values to apply angular force to this plate and it's really simple. Watch how easy this is. Um, the function is uh, basically it takes an entity apply ang force and then it takes an angle. So I'm going to be applying force to the plate which is an entity and I'm going to use gyro for the angles. So I'm going to click on the plate, and what it's going to do is it's going to apply force to the plate in the roll direction, because right now it's 0, 0, 45, that's pitch yaw roll, and it's going to apply it to a positive 45 angle. So I unfreeze it, and see it's applying force to the positive direction, but we don't want it to go that way. We want it to go the other way, so we have to negate the angles. To do that, all you have to do is put a subtract, or a minus, right before the angles of the plate. All right? and watch that 45, it's going to turn into a negative 45. See that? So it'll now force the plate a negative 45 roll in that direction. See that? And then once it hits zero, see that those values mean that 
it's force. That's the uh, force value. Basically, it's applying 40, negative 45 gmod units of force to the plate. Now, when it hits zero, it's not going to apply any force, so it's not going to move at all. All right. So that's pretty much how apply angular force works. It's really simple, but we're going to do some stuff with it. See, right now it's just bobbling. All right, it's going too slow. It passes zero and then it it uh, skips because it's not applying enough force. It just keeps going back and forth. So I'm going to first multiply it. We're going to apply more force to it. Instead of 45, we're going to multiply that the angles of the plate by, let's say, 500 for right now. Click on it. And that negative 45 is going to turn into roughly 22,500. So it's going to be applying that much force to the uh, roll direction. And now it's bobbling really fast. We need to stabilize the plate in order to make it uh, stay at zero, zero, zero. And by the way, same thing for pitch. See, now it's outputting it in the pitch direction. Uh, po a positive 22,500, roughly. So let's stabilize the plate. To do that, uh, I'm going to use the delta formula, which Tricky came up with a long time ago. I don't think he came up with it, but he used the first one to use it. Uh, that formula is the delta of gyro. By the way, delta, that's the symbol. The dollar sign is the symbol for delta in expression 2, times 5. Now that little formula right there, the delta of gyro times 5, that is what stabilizes the plates, the magic number. <laughs> Alright, click on it, and now it should stabilize. See that? It, when it goes to zero, 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 it just doesn't move anymore. That little formula right there makes it stabilize. It's kind of hard to understand how it works, the formula, um, but it, it works. So let's do something with this. Let's make the plate stay. I'm going to show you how to make it stay at an angle. Like instead of having to go to zero, 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 we're going to make it stay at a 45 degree angle. All right, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the mu multiply by 500 so to show you the actual values of the, or the pitch out roll of the plate. And then, watch this, instead of putting, instead of negating the plate, I'm going to subtract it by my own angle. To, to do that, you have to create a function, um, or you have to make your own angles by this function. It's ang, that's the, ang the function, and basically you put three values, pitch, yaw, and roll. You put three values there. So pitch is zero, yaw is zero, and we're going to put 45 in the roll direction. And what that's going to do... By the way, um, when you're subtracting angles, it's always good to, um, let's see, what's it called, um, uh, no, ang norm. It's always good to normalize the angle to do that. Um, <laughs> trust me on this, it's always good to normalize the angle. So just put no, ang norm and then put that, wrap that around parentheses. So you want to wrap that code that we had around parentheses of ang norm, which is another function you can look up on the Wikipedia. All right, so see that now it's staying at a 45 degree angle. When I unfreeze it, it'll just keep going at a 45. Now I'm going to go and multiply that now by 500 again. See that? So, bam, 45. See how easy that is? Pitch zero, yaw zero, and 45 in the roll. Now let's do something further. Let's make the plate um, look wherever I look. All right. Well, that's a really popular thing that's been on the forums lately, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to create our own angle. All right? So gyro equals ang, pitch, yaw, roll. We're going to create our own angle, and then we're going to apply force to the plate to that angle. So I'm going to make pitch equal something, roll, or yaw equal something, and roll equal something. All right? Now, the function I'm going to use for pitch is elevation. And that function is, uh, it takes an entity, elevation of a vector. Now, a vector, the function I'm going to use is, first of all, the plate is the entity, plate, so we got plate is the entity, and also I'm going to output me is the owner. All right, so that, basically, that's my entity me is my entity. Owner is the function to use for my for my person. Actually, my little guy who runs around on Gary's mom. Anyway, 